Hi betting experts, on Tuesday the 21st of July, first of all look back at our two bets at Air on Monday and we move on to Chepstow on Tuesday, the ground pretty much perfect, sunny weather forecast through the week so I'm expecting things to quicken up. We start off with our value angle selection in the 245, this is the stroked handicap over 7 furlongs, a class 6 for 3 year olds only, the measly first prize of £2,782 but it has attracted a mixed field, one or two of them have yet to show their hand to the handicapper uh, and one of those who I think could be very well treated is Richard Hannon's Arafi. Now this filly's run four times starting off in February at Chelmsford on the all weather when finishing a creditable third behind Stormy Mountain and then perhaps a little bit unsuited by Southall when only fourth behind Black Castle Storm. Again quite strong in the market sent off a five to two chance. She was off for the Covid reasons for 108 days and returned with a really good run when third at Windsor on handicap debut behind Ali Baba. Again, 11 to 2 and quite strong in the market of a mark of 67 under Ross Orion. And I didn't think she was seen to best effect that day. You have to excuse a lesser run at Chelmsford last time when only sixth behind Shining H. But I do think fast turf is going to suit her a lot better and a more positive ride is likely to be on the cards here. The main danger could come from the top one Knight's Gate who at least comes here on the back of a recent win and remains open to a bit of improvement. But that one has got nine stone eight to lump whereas um, one or two of these perhaps are a little less exposed and it was a particularly poor race I thought that Knightsgate won last time. I'm hoping that a Rafi who's been eased a couple of pounds can take advantage of the handicapper's leniency. For our nap of the day we head to the opening 105. This is the Ared handicap over five furlongs. Class 5 for three-year-olds and upwards. Eight runners just under three and a half grand on offer to the winner. And I think this is another golden opportunity for the very progressive Balmau to continue his flying ways. Now he comes here on something of a roll. He started off um, by winning at Beverly on the 23rd of June. Really impressing when beating Mecca's hot steps by three and a half lengths. Put up six pounds for that, running under a penalty the following week at Red Car. Again, bolted up by four lengths. He did have to work a bit harder under another penalty three days later when landing the odds at Musselburgh. Um, by three quarters of a length from Angel's faces. That came off a mark of 67. The handicaps had a chance to have another swipe at him. He's up to 73. But Thomas Greatrex, who's very good value for his claim, takes over, taking off three pounds. Uh, and I think there's more, more to come. These are a very modest lot who struggle to win. Um, the top one, Tabahi of David O'Mara's, I think is in the grip of the handicapper. The bottom one, Alba de Sol, has got claims, been running really well recently, and she gives her running every time and should go close. Uh, perhaps Zulu Zander, who's been frustrating to follow, finishing second a couple of times, would also be a threat. But Balmal, who knows how to win races, loves fast ground, and can improve again and notch his fifth win of the season. Best of luck on Tuesday, betting experts.